in the March update of Power BI Desktop, there's a new opt-in feature under preview features for a new user interface that's quite a dramatic change to how we'll build Power BI visuals on our page. New users, I think, will really benefit from this. Um, people who've been using Power BI a while will really struggle to get used to this to start with, but we'll get used to it. Um, there's some great features. There's some things I'm not a fan of. I'll quickly run through them now. Let's go. I'll show you how to turn on the preview feature in one second, but let me just show you the, the good stuff here, okay? Just the simple ability to double click on a visual to go into edit mode, okay? And then right click on a bar and change the color. That's awesome, right? Uh, right click on the data labels, make the font a bit bigger, uh, change the numbers to none rather than thousands, okay? All this sort of stuff, deleting the axis title, oh, delete, oh, sorry, no, I've got to be careful what you delete, undo. I'll click on it again, <laughs> double click, click on the month there. Okay, it's a little bit fiddly, it's going to take a bit of getting used to, there we go, delete, I think, there, lovely. So double click on that, or click on it again, press delete. Okay, all good, you can do that sort of stuff, you can change the heading, you know, you can type in here, you can change the font. Really nice, okay, really good. Also, if I want to sort of concatenate a label or something like this, so this one, when I click on it, the menu pops out the side, okay, for the x-axis, and I can concatenate the label or off, you know. Same thing here, I can click on this axis, and again, over on the side here, it pops into the y-axis. That's really good. I really like that, okay. So this whole formatting on object formatting experience, I really like. Um, one thing that I get, got caught out with straight away was let's say I wanted to turn this into, I don't know why, but I, let's say I want to turn it into a line chart. Normally, see the, the, the menu is now the uh, chart options are moved up here. Normally to change a chart, you would click on it to change it, but now it adds a new chart, which I get, okay. It was one of those things that used to catch out new users. They'd forget that they hadn't clicked away from a chart so before starting a new one. So I'll get used to that, that's fine. Um, so what you do now, you click on the chart and over here, you can change the chart from the drop downs. So if I'm on a line chart, I would go here. Okay, that's just a case of getting used to. So I'm a big fan, okay? And also what you'll notice is under this data icon, if I go back to my column chart, is these fields down here. So rather than having the fields panel down the side, and this is the big change, there is no fields panel down the side anymore under this setting. It's all linked directly to the charts, okay? And you can add data here, okay? If I wanted to change this to a, a column and line chart, for example, I've then got down here, you do have to scroll down to find these options, so that's a bit of a change. Um, line axis, okay? I could then put my uh, budget sales. Well, actually, what you can do is here, you just click on it. You don't have to drag anymore. You just come over here, you click on add data, which makes, you know, it's it's sensible. Go in here, sales, budget sales. Great, okay. Looks a bit messy. I'd turn off the data labels. Well, I can do that nice and easily on the visual now rather than scrabbling around. So double click, click on the data labels, can right click delete or press the delete on my keyboard. But that gets rid of all of them. Okay, so undo. So I just want to get rid of these ones. So I click on them. Where are they down here? Apply settings to budget sales. Turn off the data labels. Ah, it's applying to all of them, which I didn't intend to happen. All right, I'll come back to that. <laughs> okay, so let me, I like the concept, all right? And it's gonna take me a while to work with the fact that that panel down the side isn't there. Let me show you a few of the things that, you know, sort of bug me about this and, and a couple of suggestions. Firstly, the biggest culprit for this is the on object suggested um, visual. So if I tick sales, okay, it comes in as a card visual, used to come in as a column chart, but I'll get used to that. 
And then if I click year, it comes in as a horizontal chart, which, okay, it's okay, but I want to change it to a column. Okay, great. And then I want to add months as well. So I go add data, uh, calendar, and this collapses every time. So there's a few more clicks, but now it's put month and it's changed my chart back. So this thing being on is, I found as a experienced user, more of a hassle and a hindrance. So I'll show you how to turn that off in a second. But how do I move as a new user, how do I know where, how to put month not in the legend or what is in the legend? Actually, yeah, months in the legend. Well, you have to click on the chart a second time or turn off the suggested visual, which I don't think is that intuitive. So if I click on it, there we see that month is in the legend. I can try and drag it. I've found mixed, mixed success with that. Sometimes it bugs out, sometimes it works. I think it's a little bit glitchy, but that seems to have worked. And I'll change it to a column chart and I'll click on the little Biden T pitchfork thing, but it does then sort it max to min, whereas it used to sort it by year and by month um, and auto expand it. So I'm not, a, I'm a bit confused by that, but if I get rid of month and I add it rather than dragging it in, I'm still doing the same thing. Okay, so we'll get used to that. I have to go and sort it properly, etc. But okay, we're getting there. Um, those sorts of things are okay. So what I would do though, because this suggested type, if I go to my customer group and add my actual sales, it then turns it into this chart, even though I just turned it off on the last visual. So you have to turn it off per visual, which is annoying. So do this, file, options and settings, options, and go to the global report settings and turn off that suggested option. So report settings, suggest a visual off. While you're there, I quite like expanding my subcategories. That's up to you really. Um, so now when I create a visual, if I go and tick, let's say customer group, and then I go and tick my sales measure. Okay, we're in here, all good. Uh, there's no right click sort of font size on here and stuff like that. I'm sure they're gonna edit some of this thing. So format, um, so new new features are coming. This is preview, so there's limitations currently. Um, but because of that, you know, I can't really can't really use this a lot. And because this panel's disappeared down the side, testing it out is going to be mm, problematic. But I'll give it a go. I'll be I'll be playing around with it more. So yeah, there's a few you know few quirks. It's going to take a while to get used to. I uh, would love to know what you think in the comments. Is this just us old schoolers having to adapt to a, a more user-friendly experience for new users? But is the new experience gone to a little bit too far? What do you think? You know, I can see it's an important development to help new users, and there's going to be a lot of them in the coming years, more than there are existing users. So the easier it gets for them, the better. Um, and I think this will help. It's just going to take a while to get used to. So I hope you find it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.